What's up, friends? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jen. I do all sorts of clothing unboxing videos, mostly styling services, some from the most popular Stitch Fix and some much less well known. I like to try them all. I like to veer towards, though I like to veer towards the more affordable clothing just because I can be cheap at times. So if videos all about clothing and fashion are interesting to you, then please subscribe below. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. For returning viewers, I keep looking at my bag. I'm ready to open it, guys. Um, for returning viewers, thank you so much for watching. For your continued support, it means the world to me. Now, Nadine West. I Let's dig right into this. If you are not familiar with Nadine West Styling Service, then let me fill you in. It is a styling service where you get anything from like two to, I don't know, I think I got 14 in one bag once. So they just send you stuff, a little or a lot of stuff. It's generally a mix of clothing and accessories, and accessories are usually like jewelry. Um, occasionally they'll do like scarves and I don't know. I think I have everything shut up except jewelry. Oh, I have gotten sunglasses before. I, I kind of want them to send me sunglasses again because I keep breaking mine. In fact, they should send me sunglasses every bag and I'll be like, yeah, cool. My last ones are falling apart or I lost them or I broke them. Um, so, yes, uh, the there's no styling fee, though there is a shipping cost of $9.78, but that does apply to anything you purchase. They are a more affordable styling service, but obviously they're their clothes are going to be not as quality as you're going to get in some of the other boxes, but I like to have a variety so I can get some nice clothing and some of my Stitch Fix type boxing and then have Navy West for something a little bit more affordable. So, uh, these bags are just so impossible to get. Into. I wish I did magic. Open sesame. Um, I'm going to have to concentrate here for a second. Okay. So, I think I got through a hurdle there. It's starting to open. Ooh, I see yellow. Okay, anything else about this? I think they give you like seven days to decide what to keep and then um, send back what you don't want, which is nice because some of them are like three days and then if you get out on Friday and you're gone for the weekend, and, although, you know, Stitch Fix, you can extend the date. But regardless, um, I like that they do seven days and, oh, they don't have stuff really all that bundled up this time. All right, here's my bundle. <laughs> um, I've got multiple bundles in here, so we'll just kind of start diving into it. I see a lot of blousey type things, so let's check this out. Oh, white on the jewelry. All right, so first up, oh, I like this. This is pretty. Oh, this is sheer. This is, this is very sheer. Can you see me through here? Oh, wait, actually, I don't have a good light that shows you. It, regardless, trust me, it's sheer. There, you can see my arm. Okay, anyways, um, this is a shirt by DNA Couture. It's a blouse, and it's got cool crochet flowers on it. I actually really like this. I don't love sheer, but, you know, there's ways to deal with that. So I'm going to try it with some sort of tank underneath it. Um, and some of these things that you put them on and they're actually not as sheer as you expect them to be. Um, there's the bottom of it though. I think it's really pretty though. I, I actually really like this. So, okay, so far so good. Next up, we have another blouse, but this is a three quarter length blouse. It's just blue and white paisley pattern. Um, don't like the pattern at all. That's not my thing. Also sheer, um, again, I don't think it's coming through in camera that you can see that sheer, but trust me, I can see like right through it. I can easily see my camera picture. Um, anyways, so mm, it's okay. I'm just not really digging this pattern on here. Here you go. Also DNA Couture. So we'll see once we get that on. Now then we have, oh, what are you my friend? Also DNA Couture, that's the theme of this. This is almost like a beach cover-up, I'd say. Um, maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to be like a little mini dress thing. But to me, again, super, super sheer. Uh, has a beach cover-up type vibe to it. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
um, but does have like this v-neck back and tie and um, you yeah, know trying this on for you guys might be a challenge I might have to tell you about it and not actually show you we'll see okay yellow I don't have anything that's actually just yellow it's always mustard yellow is kind of an interesting color to me so this is also DNA Couture and this is uh, I think this is a long sleeve but it does have a tab roll up if you want to do that here and kind of a pleated front here with some sort of um, necktie situation going on which I always think is kind of an interesting neckline to it so very interested to try this on I, I honestly don't know how I feel about it so we'll see okay next we got this pink blouse this is by KAIA Los Angeles Kai Los Angeles and blush color um, has like pearl button down front again some tab sleeves here and a black collar I'm not a huge fan of collars that have contrasting colors not a huge fan at all I love blush and pink or I love blush and black together I, I love that combo I just don't necessarily want it on the same shirt together Again, we'll see once we get that on, but not super loving it. All right, let's get to the next bundle. Ooh, is that, these are like jeans or pants or something. What's going on, Nadine? Unless I like it. All right, but first, we have a um, almost probably like like just like a wide leg. It's a kind of a, a dirty mustard. Um, and it's a pant, wide leg, I don't know what to say other than that, wide leg pant. So, interesting, very interesting. I'm probably going to end up being way too scared to ever wear these anywhere, but I'm very excited to try those on at least. And then we have cardigan, it appears. Um, dolman style cardigan, which I just am not a dolman fan. I just feel like a bat in a dolman top and everything's already huge on me so it's like naturally everything's a dolman on me because I'm just a very small person and so it's like why would I buy a shirt to do that to me specifically okay these are interesting these are these are jeans ish probably like a jegging pull on jegging front and back pockets green kind of a pea green I don't know I don't know what I think of these I like I like them. They're not they're not a bad quality type jegging. Um, usually I don't necessarily have the pants that I get, but I'm actually very interested to try these. This is by Laura. I think I've missed telling you the brands of the last couple, so sorry about that. Uh, Laura and okay, well I'm excited to try these on, see what I think. And lastly, last but not least. These are more like a khaki, khaki straight leg, um, faux front pockets on these, but real back pockets, and just a straight leg skinny. So not bad. Um, I might actually wear these. Active USA. I would maybe actually wear these to work because um, I need more khaki type looking stuff. So. Uh, jewelry. Let's do jewelry. So first off, we have, doo -doo -doo -doo. what are you? You are, this is by Marin Elena, and this is like a three layer necklace here, like one white pearl and then two kind of gold pearlish. So first glance, I was kind of in, eh, but I don't know, I kind of like it. So We'll try it on and see what we think. And then these are gonna stay home with me. These are my friends. I love just a good, cute gold earring and that's what I get here. Just kind of a, you know, elongated triangle-ish shape, shape. And I think these are gonna look cute on me. So, uh, is, that, is, that, is that a bad thing to say? Like, this is gonna be so cute on me. Hopefully not. 
Um, okay, awesome, awesome stuff. And I think it's time to try things on, which, let's be honest, is the most fun part as the viewer and as the person putting it on. So let's get to it. Okay, first up we have the khaki pants and the very, very see-through shirt. So the khaki pants are actually a pretty awkward fit. So they're very kind of tight on the way up and then they are like actually a little bit baggy up here and there's a little bit of extra fabric here in the crotch, which is not great. And so these are just, oh, and they're a little bit too long, kind of scrunching at the end, so not, not a fan. Now, the top, I was hoping, like it's happened before, where something looks super sheer when I pull it out, because I got the lights shining through and stuff, and then I put it on, and it's like, oh, it's not see-through at all. I put it on, and it's like, oh, hello, bra. So, yeah, it's, I, I put it to, uh, just a white tank on underneath. Um, but it definitely is completely see-through, so I don't love it because I can't, I can't do anything with that. I can't wear that to work, and I just don't particularly care for that style of see-through shirt with tank, or I don't know, are you supposed to see my bra? What, what, what did Nene West intend for this shirt? I don't know. So, not great, and I've got like five sheer shirts in this bag. I have no idea why. They just decided I must love sheer shirts or something like that. So let's, let's just start cycling through them quickly here. Frequently when I put on a shirt, I go to the bathroom and look at myself in the bathroom mirror just to see what I think of it. There are some times where a certain thing comes around where it's like, hmm, I don't need to. I can already make a decision. So, okay, I have this rolled up for the tabs that it has here. It's just, it's big. I do not love these pearls here that are in the front. I'll give you guys a better look at that. Just, I don't really care for that. And it's just not really my thing. So let's go to the next top. Okay, so next up we have this shirt. Again, just completely sheer, completely see-through. So that's unfortunate. Um, it's a good fit. This one fits well. I'm just, I'm not even a big fan of this material. So not a winner here either. Let's keep going. Okay, next up is this top. I originally thought it was like a dress or a beach cover up, but it's just a longer top. And again, quite sheer, um, kind of has these sleeves that go down to the waist, uh, Empire waistband here. I think definitely meant to be worn over something and not just by itself. This one's okay. It's, I like it better than kind of the other tops I've tried on so far, but still not something I see myself ever reaching for. So let's keep going. Woo! I am yellow. Ah, this one's kind of ant for me too. Let me roll up one of these sleeves, because again, tab sleeves. Um, I like it better with the tab sleeves than the long sleeves. I do like the neck detail that you can either tie or just kind of leave open here. I think that's cool. I just think it's a little bit long and flowy for my taste. So again, not something that I would probably reach for. So. We have three tops left, and we'll, or three clothing items left, so let's see if any of those work for us. Okay, so let's talk about this cardigan. I think it's more like the, the cocoon style that they say. Does, does anybody look good in this? Is it, who pulls this off? Because it's not me. It is very soft though, I'll give it that. It's very sort of soft cardigan. But guys, I, I, I just don't. I, I don't pull this off. I don't like it. So, not gonna be keeping that. But, gotta be honest with you guys, kinda like the pants. Now, they fit great. They are a high waist, so they're coming all the way up to my belly button, which I like. They do have front pockets and back pockets. They are a true jegging, so they have, you know, a bit of a legging feel. Here's the 360 there. And the color's kind of, mm, but I don't know, I kind of dig it. Am I dumb for liking it, or what do you guys think? So, love to hear opinions on that. And I think I just have the wide leg pants. While these pants are interesting, 
I just don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear these. I'm just not really a wide leg person. So they're super comfortable and I love that they have pockets and they're super soft and I should have found a better top to kind of tuck in here but I just have what I was on kind of bunched in so just picture a fitted top tucked in there what do you guys think and I like that you know it's a nice high waist and I mean I don't hate them but I just don't think I would ever grab these and ever wear them and I'd be scared so, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Now, let's go ahead and go over prices and I will show you guys a close up of the jewelry then. All right, guys, the tryout is done. I decided that instead of reading off all the prices off of the price sheet and going through my thoughts of everything again, I just was captioning everything. Oh, I'm not, I'm not even on this chair, okay. I think I'm even now. Oh, ca captured everything with the price, mostly because th this was not the best bag for me, so I don't really want to go through and kind of diss all the pieces again. There was nothing quality-wise that was an issue, just there was just things that were not my size, a lot of sheer pieces, but um, I do love these earrings. I'll show them to you guys. I will get a lot of use out of them. I love gold somewhat dangly earrings, you know, kind of statement-y, but not too big. Um, really like these, so these are definite keepers. I have the necklace on, um, not really like a white pearl type person, so eh, I don't know. I'm not sure I would ever reach for it. I like it, um, but just kind of okay. And then out of all the clothing items, again, you know, you guys heard my thoughts on them already, no need to rehash. And I'm kind of thinking about these green, I mean, look at this color. I mean, this isn't a great color, right? I don't know, but I'd really like to hear you guys' opinion. What, what should I do with these? Should I keep them? Should I not keep them? Is that, is that a mistake? I'd love to get your guys' opinions. Um, I guess that's it, guys. Um, if you are interested in trying Navy West, not that this was like the best advertisement for them, because it was not my best bag, but I have other videos where, you know, I like what I, liked what I got a little bit better. So if you are interested in trying it risk-free, then you can use my referral code and they waive your shipping costs. And I don't, I think they changed the program. I don't even know what I get anymore. It used to be a free pair of earrings. I feel like they maybe changed it. I don't know. Um, but I thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate that. Appreciate you guys' support. And hopefully you will stick around for the next video. So hopefully we'll see you next time. Okay.